In this video, I want to share an exercise. I used to do this in the classroom at least once a semester in my consciousness class. And, and the point is to learn to recognize the differences between thinking and conscious awareness and how much smaller the thinking mind is than the vastness of conscious awareness and how limited the thinking mind is one thought at a time versus the simultaneous uh, awareness of consciousness itself. And, and if you get to experience these differences, then you'll get the point of mindfulness and meditation because that's what mindfulness and meditation are all about. Being in that state of conscious awareness rather than that thinking mind mode of processing. So the practice itself involves a fugue by uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. And if you're not familiar with the work of Bach, that's fine. Uh, nothing special is needed. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can find the art of the fugue, which is a masterpiece in, in writing a fugue. And all a fugue is, it has a melody. That same melody starts at a later time and miraculously har harmonizes with itself. But you can have this start again and again. And so you can have maybe six simultaneous fugues, uh, some simultaneous melodies going along all at once. So here's the exercise. When, you'll find it pretty easy to focus on the melody. That's the thinking mind. Its awareness is limited, so it can focus on that one melody. Then it's going to start again, and then it's going to start again. And maybe about the third time, you'll, you'll really see how the limited awareness of the thinking mind simply cannot hold it all together in that thinking mode. That's okay. Be, let it go. And let the awareness kind of spread evenly across all the harmonies. And that's when you'll get why we are so attracted to music, because music is the simultaneous processing of so many different elements that it shuts down the thinking mind um, without us even really knowing that that's what's happening.